Okay, welcome back for Vlogmas Day 2. I don't know if I'll actually be posting this like technically on day 2, December 2nd, but nonetheless, I'm just gonna go as many as I can which day it is, you know? This Vlogmas is going to be all focus on reindeer and activities that you can do in your pre-k class i actually do themes throughout the month of december and they are reindeer gingerbread and then christmas this year we have four weeks before break which is like oh that's tough so i'm either going to do two weeks of like christmas where you know santa things things like that or maybe do holidays around the world so this week it is reindeer week so we're doing a couple different activities i have some books that i want to share with you that i read for reindeer week crafts that i want to share with you and then also some literacy games that we do as well okay so starting off with books that i like to read um my favorite one is this little book the littlest reindeer it's super cute because they can relate to it being the littlest pre-kers in the school you know and he really wants to be a reindeer for Santa's sleigh and he just, you know, everyone's trying to help him do things but he's just not quite big enough and, you know, we take that in a connection and we talk about things that we're not able to do yet but that he keeps trying and he never gives up and then at the end he tries his very hardest and then he's able to do it so it's a happy ending. So definitely a fan favorite that's also kind of short so it keeps their attention span super cute graphics as well another one of my favorites a little bit longer is all of the other reindeer this one kind of goes over their head a little bit about the name all of but some of those higher ones they actually get it and they find it hilarious that the dog thinks that he's a reindeer because of the song that he hears so throughout the story he hears a song he says oh my gosh i'm a reindeer not a dog and then he goes to santa and he tries to help him and he's like flying with him on a string and then it goes through three different things that he does that help Santa. I think one is like um, flutes are falling down, gumdrops are falling down and he like notices it because he's below it and then also when the flutes are there he's a dog so he likes to fetch so he fetches the flute or he goes to fetch the different flutes to put them back in Santa's bag and he also chews the stick because he's a dog to help him get out of the tree that he got stuck in so very helpful type story and so we could talk about the ways that all of helped Santa and then also they talked about their favorite part with this book too this one is just a random read aloud for Santa's reindeer game it's a cute little read aloud they are just playing reindeer games there's funny parts for who's in the lead it goes through all the little reindeer names and we really don't do a follow-up activity with this but it's just a cute read aloud there's also obviously Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is a very long story, but if you go to books.com, they actually have chapter one, two, and three, and it's like a read aloud. It kept their attention a lot more. We just separated it into the different chapters. So that's what we did for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the book. And there's also a video that I'm sure you could watch, but you know, it's like, not as engaging so we're gonna skip that okay so now that we've gone over some books i'm gonna go over some of our like small group activities that we have done for reindeer week the first two activities i don't have like written on the bag where they're from but i'll look on my teachers pay teachers and i will link them down below for you i was planning on making my own resources but you know you can't do it all right you got to pick and choose what you can handle so this one is actually reindeer and santa and it's just a shapes review which is always important to review. So it has a shape of a Santa, and then it has a shape of a reindeer, and they have to match the puzzle together. Super cute, I love the clip art, and the kids love it too. We just spread it all around the table, and they have to like each have a turn to find the match and put it together. They also then have to tell us what the name of the shape is, and how they knew, if it's like a higher group, like how do you know that's a square? And then I can say, it has four sides, it has four vertices just simple review the other activity it does not have a name either so i'll try to link this one as well it's just a simple counting number clip one i use this stuff all the time because i just really like the fine motor of the clip i mean we had a kid today that it was mostly working on opening and closing and then we were holding this so that they could put it on there you know the skill of counting might be a struggle for some of them too but most of mine can count these objects but it really is just you know you're building that fine motor and putting it on there so both of those activities were at a group together since they're kind of quick activities and then they could swap and there is a teacher in that group too to kind of 
extend the learning. Okay, another math reindeer small group. This one is from Teaching for Plato to Plato. I'll link it for you. And I really like this one. It's reindeer coverall, so cutest clip art. Has um, 10 frames down below, and so they have two dice. They roll them and they add them together. We are just starting to work on addition. We're starting small with like numbers through five, so they also have, they have like four versions of this, and it's a freebie. But this one has 10 frames only to five. So for this one, you might not, it says that you can roll and just count them and put it on there. Well, you could also be like, okay, what is one plus two? And then they join it together. It's three. Okay, find the three on here. For this one, it's two dice and it goes up to 12 adding. So some of my kids can handle this. They kind of got the skill already. And then they also have the number version. If you didn't want to find the 10 frame to match, you just wanted to find the numbers. All right. And then finally we have this one. It is from Busy Hands and Minds. It's cute. I just love all the clip art. Love all the reindeer. Cute little antler match, blank antlers, and it comes with clip art of antlers, and you are matching lowercase with an uppercase throughout all the letters. So it's kind of like a lot of choices. So I spread it all out on my table, and then I had groups with their own antler page and then they would one of them would find a letter and then the other one had to find the match and go like that and they kind of worked together to get through it and they did really well with it they might not have always remembered the name of the letter but that's why i was there to guide the instruction and then also like we would reference our alphabet chart at the top too if we needed to know what the lowercase one looks like compared to the uppercase all right and then a craft we have some crafts as well the cutest craft is the one that we did this week we actually did this in our small group the tricky part is that this adorable reindeer was made from our machine up there that like it's almost like a cricket but it's like a school it's it's wild one day i should definitely show you it's very cool it probably has a name and everything but anyways so you might not have that but you can definitely cut out a reindeer face and i saw where they do their hand prints for the antlers and then after that dries you can um, draw the light all around and do the thumbprints of different colors so ours was a little simpler because we didn't have to wait for the hand prints to dry but adorable nonetheless and then the cute little saying i love you dearly super cute another craft that we are going to do i'm going to put it here it's from pinterest i'm going back and forth on if i'm going to do their faces or not with a picture but the more I think about it, the more I want to do their face because they're just so cute. We have a bag of these. I had 11 of these left over from last year. We did Santas and snowmen, um, but we're gonna switch it up. And so we're gonna put their face on it like that picture said. And then I have little red dots for their noses. And then we are hoping to get some brown pipe cleaners. We only had a couple and they're in the Play-Doh, so they're not very clean. And hopefully that's what we'll do for the antlers. If not, we might do the hand prints. They'll be kind of big though against this like big old antlers. And the reason that we're gonna do that is because they have a contest in our library where you have to decorate a tree for a book. So we're gonna do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and then of course little pre-K faces. We're probably gonna win because they're just so cute. So that's the plan. And then obviously we can take that ornament and send it home as a parent gift. The only other thing reindeer related, which I don't know if we're gonna get to it, but I love to do it. So hopefully we will get to it even if it's not during reindeer week is reindeer food such a fun simple cheap idea they just make all the reindeer food um, i actually have a book at home that i could even read to them if i brought it to school and then they can take it home as like a little gift to feed the reindeer before christmas so overall that is everything i can think of keeping it pretty simple for reindeer we're also going to move on to gingerbread next week so i'll do another vlogmas video all about our gingerbread ideas we have a lot of them i could do gingerbread for like three weeks i feel like but we like to keep it small because we don't want to go overboard and do too much and then get overwhelmed. I think that's everything. The Santa's cookie shop with hot chocolate is coming along. So that is a future video as well. We just got to get some final touches on there before we show the grand reveal. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying all these videos that I'm popping out until they last. We'll see how long. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great December and are getting excited in your classrooms as well. I will see you soon. Bye.